Net effective price, a new scam in the tech industry. X smartphone launched for X price. Wow, what a great pricing. But is it though? Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolo. I think it is about time we talk about net effective price. Almost all brands out there are doing this and frankly, it is super annoying. So first and foremost, let's understand what is net effective price. See, brands during the launch event of their product will mention the price towards the end. Nice, we get to know the price and then we can decide whether or not the product is worth it. But then in the next or previous slide, they will show a price after applying all the offers that you can get on launch day or maybe in the first couple of sales. Let's take an example over here for better understanding. Say a smartphone is launched for rupees 29999. The brand will display the pricing in the slide and we will be like, nice, this is good pricing. But the brand knows that this pricing won't get them the headlines. So then they will move on to the next slide and there they will show the net effective pricing. Now a smartphone whose price is rupees 29999 will now be shown as rupees 24999, a full 5000 rupees lesser than the actual price. How does that happen? Well, you can get rupees 2000 off if you have this particular credit card. You can also get an additional rupees 2000 off if you exchange your old device and finally you can get a thousand rupees off if you are a member of our community so after applying all these things which have a lot of conditions the price becomes rupees 2499 and now this price will definitely get them the headlines this smartphone launched for rupees 2499 what a great pricing the best smartphone out there under 25k but is that really true that smartphone actually costs rupees 29999 and not rupees 24999 see not everyone will get those offers and not everyone can buy the smartphone at rupees 24999 the brand definitely knows that they just want headlines and that's why they focus a lot on the net effective pricing first let's talk about the bank offers say i don't have that particular credit card then that rupees 2000 off is not applicable for me sure i can borrow that credit card from friends and family but that is a big if it is not applicable to everyone that's why taking into account bank bank offers for net effective pricing is a big no, like it should not be considered as a price card. Second thing is the worst, exchange bonus. Now here's how it works. Say I want to exchange my old device whose current market value is rupees 5000. The brand is saying that if you exchange that device to buy our new device, we will give you 7000 rupees, basically 2000 rupees extra on what you were getting. So that is the exchange bonus. But here are the problems with exchange bonus. What if I don't have an old device to exchange? What if I don't want to give my old device to buy a new one? And what if I'm getting a way better deal in the offline market? In all these scenarios, that exchange bonus is null for me. So again, that rupees 2000 exchange bonus is useless and it should not be considered as a price cut. Same thing goes for other offers and brands come up with very weird offers. Now there is this brand who not a long time ago launched a smartphone for 30,000 rupees but they were claiming that it is only 25,000 rupees because they were giving a free pair of TWS earbuds worth 5,000 rupees. So basically you had to pay 30k but they were saying that the phone actually cost 25k and the TWS cost 5k. So you're effectively getting the phone for 25k and then you're spending 5k on the TWS. So this was a bundle. It was not like they were selling the smartphone separately and the TWS separately. You will get both the products together. So how is it a discount? And that was a very bad scenario. All the creators called out the brand and in fact they rectified that as well. So I feel that creators also play a major role over here. When we see net effective price, we should not get excited by it. We should consider the actual price of the product. I've been to launch events, the brand shows the net effective price and the perception in our mind is that, wow, that is great pricing. This smartphone is awesome for this price. And that's how we review that product as well. But I feel that while reviewing, we should keep the actual price in the mind because not everyone is going to get the net effective price. Most people out there are going to get the actual price. Now, as far as brands go, I don't think they are going to change their strategy because this is getting them headlines. It's actually the duty of creators, journalists and other people out there to not care about net effective pricing. Now, what do you guys feel about this topic? Please let me know about that in the comment section down below or on Twitter and Instagram. Let's start a conversation about net effective pricing. So yeah, that is net effective pricing, a very weird but very effective strategy by brand to change perception about their product. They will show you a price, reduce that price and then you will be like, wow, this product is amazing, what a great deal. But don't forget, you have to focus on the actual price and not on the net effective price. That is the main thing. If you found the content worthwhile, then consider subscribing to the channel because I keep making such videos. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.